new subscribers and welcome back old subscribers. So today I'll be doing a new type of video that I'm really excited for, which is a collab video that I'll be doing with two lovely ladies. We all have different textures, types, lengths, and colors, so we thought it'd be a good idea. My first lovely lady is Natural Barbie, who did her technique on medium length hair. And my second lovely lady is Dreester, who did her techniques on a tapered cut. So I'll be leaving the links to their channels down below so you can check them out and we're gonna get started. You'll need sectioning clips, a leave-in conditioner, a twisting cream, a gel, and some perm rods. I used the tan one and the cream colored one because I wanted medium curls. So I used the sectioning clips just to section off my hair to make it easier to work with and I started with the front section first. I then separated a medium sized section going forward so I could start applying my products and I started off with my leave-in conditioner and I just applied that to dry hair. My hair was in an old blowout by the way. Next I took a small amount of my twisting cream and just applied that to my section from roots to ends right on top of the leave-in conditioner. Then I took a small amount of gel to apply to the ends of my hair to prepare my hair to be rolled on the perm rods later. Then I just combed through my section from ends to roots nice and slowly to one ensure that the products were evenly distributed and two to smooth out my section to make twisting my hair a lot easier. So you guys know I'm not really good at describing how to do a two strand twist but I just did a two strand twist going forward until I reached my forehead. So I just fast forwarded it because I can't explain it but there are plenty of videos on YouTube if you want to learn how to do it and it's not that hard. So then I pinned one section back and I split that remaining section into two, applied a little bit more gel to each side, and then I rolled each side on a perm rod, which you'll see. So I just took the perm rod, started at the ends of my hair, and I rolled it, I rolled my hands in like a clockwise fashion. So I was moving my hand and not the roller until I got up to the root. And then I just secured it with the clip and I did the same thing for the other piece. Once I had those pieces all complete, I did the same thing with that section that I clipped away. I split it into two, applied gel, and put a perm rod on each piece starting from my ends and rolling upwards. I'll show you the process again just in case. I separated a medium sized piece of hair going forward. I applied my leave-in conditioner from roots to ends. I followed that up with my twisting cream from roots to ends. This time I held off on the gel and I started to comb my hair from ends to roots to make sure that the products were distributed and it was nice and smooth. Then I did a small flat twist going forward until I reached my forehead. And what I didn't show you is that I bobby pinned each twist to keep it in place once I got to the end and then with this section I applied gel and I only used two perm rods because it was a lot smaller. Um, what I also didn't show you is that I started applying grapeseed oil on top of my products once I added the twisting cream which smoothed the section out more and really locked in that moisture but everything else was the same. So I did my back sections going downwards and I did my side sections going down towards my ear and I ended up running out of perm rods so I had to use the white perm rods on these sections which made my curls a lot tighter but they blended in just fine. each side I had three twists going forward, two twists going sideways, and two twists going towards the back giving me a total of 14 twists. I let my hair dry for 24 hours and I simply just removed the perm rods from each piece of hair. Nothing fancy, I just unclipped the ends and I unraveled it. Um, that's why I fast forwarded it, it was pretty self explanatory. And this is what my hair looked with all the perm rods out. Even though I let it dry for a whole day, you can see that I had some frizz by my roots because my hair didn't dry completely. But 
I wasn't really pressed and these were my tighter curls from the white perm rods. I applied some grapeseed oil to my fingertips to make takedown a little smoother and I simply just unraveled each twist. Now what I love about flat twists is that you don't have to do any additional separation since you add in little pieces. Once you untwist the twist, everything is already separated. So here was my end result after unraveling all of the twists. And this was with no separation and my hair is already fluffed out. Everything looks pretty good and I didn't have to go through and separate each individual section which I love. So if my hair would have dried, my curls would have probably been a lot better but I actually love this look because I don't like a too defined look. So for me this was actually great. I still had a good amount of curl but I had a little bit a frizz in there to kind of balance it out which I like because I hate day one hair because it's way too defined so this worked for me and here was my hair after the humidity got to me once again as you can see I wasn't even phased I love this hair even more because it had more volume after the humidity got to it you can still see my frizz but there's still enough curls in there so that's it for the video guys Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one and don't forget to check out my friends videos. I'll leave the links down below. Bye!